January 1st, 1948. The Rose Bowl game from Pasadena, California, with 93,000 fans in attendance. From the Big Nine, it'll be Fritz Chrysler's Mad Magicians going all out to prove that they are the number one team in the country, while Southern Cal will be battling for the pride of the West Coast Conference. Michigan ate up nine opponents last fall without a defeat, running up 345 points, a new all-time modern scoring record for Michigan and for the Big Nine in a single season. Down on the playing field, both captains, Bruce Hilkenny of Michigan and Don Dahl of Southern Cal, are watching the referee, Russell Rupp, as he flips the coin. Michigan wins the toss, elects to receive, as this 1948 Rose Bowl game is about to get underway. And here's Bob Eufer. The weather is great here in Pasadena. Temperature about 78 degrees. No wind and the field's dry. McCormick of Southern Cal approaches the pigskin. The kickoff of the 48 Rose Bowl game is in the air. It's not too deep. Taken by Weisenberger. He's at the 32. He's met at the Michigan 33-yard line by a whole host of Southern California tacklers. So it'll be first and 10 for Michigan on the Wolverine 33. Michigan's out of the huddle. Over the ball comes J.T. White. The line follows unbalanced to the right. Backfield T formation. Yorgi's a quarterback. Shifts his Michigan backfield into single wing. Chappie is deep. Weisenberger close. Elliott motion from the wing. The ball snapped to Weisenberger. Reverses to Chappius. Chappius throws a swing pass out to Elliott at the Michigan 29. Elliott's at the 35, the 40. Cuts back over the 45. Gets a block from Tomasi at the midfield stripe. And Elliott is finally knocked out of bounds at the Trojan 42-yard line. And so the Wolverines are rolling first and 10 at the Trojan 42. After an exchange of punts, Michigan started a drive on their own 37-yard line and moved down to the Southern Cal 1-yard line, where we joined Bob with a play-by-play. Third down, one to go for the go-ahead touchdown. The Michigan backfield shifts T into single wing. Chappy is deep. Weisenberger close. Weisenberger takes a snap in center. Powers up the middle on a wedge play. He's fractionized at the goal line, but he scores. He being Jack Weisenberger. Touchdown, Michigan. The maize and blue lead Southern California six to nothing. Five and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Michigan has just moved 63 yards and 11 plays to go ahead in this ball game. The Wolverines are all set now for the extra point. The first quarter ended, Michigan 7, Southern California nothing. Midway in the second period, Jack Weisenberger scored for the Wolverines again to give Michigan a 14 to nothing lead. A bit later, the Wolverines drove 65 yards to the Southern Cal 10 as we joined Bob. Michigan leading 14 to nothing. The Wolverines are out of the huddle at the Trojan 10. Unbalanced line to the right. They shift into single wing. Chappius deep. Weisenberger close. Chappius takes a direct snap from center. He starts into the middle of that line. He's up in the air for a jump pass. He rifles the ball into Elliott's hands at the Trojan 6. Bump turns. He's at the 3. Bumps into the Southern Cal end zone for a touchdown. A beautifully executed jump pass. Chappius to Elliott. And it's easy to understand why these two Wolverines are all Americans. Michigan leads 20 to nothing, 83 yards and nine big plays, and right now the Wolverines' daubers are up. The half ended with a score, Michigan 21, Southern California nothing. (laughs) Professor William T. Brevelli and his world-renowned Michigan marching band is thrilling this capacity crowd with a very colorful halftime show. But I see Bob Eufer is back, so take it away, Robert. Thanks, Rube. Well, with Michigan leading 21 to nothing, we might pass along to you football fans a rumor we heard several times around the Huntington Hotel this week. And that is, before this month is over, Fritz Chrysler will announce he's retiring as head football coach of Michigan. You know, I can't believe this rumor. Fritz Chrysler invented the two-platoon free substitution system two years ago, and he's blended this along with his basic philosophy of coaching into one of the greatest football machines of all time. I just can't see Fritz giving it all up. But if he does, what a memorable record he leaves behind. Chrysler, in 10 years at Michigan, has had 72 victories, and if he wins today, and it looks like he will, against only 16 defeats, Fritz has produced 11 All-Americans, including Michigan's only Heisman Award winner, Tom Harmon. Six Big Ten schools have never defeated a Chrysler Coach Michigan team, including Chicago, Iowa, Wisconsin, Northwestern, Purdue, and Michigan State. Chrysler defeated Ohio State and Illinois eight out of ten games each, and every year that he's been head coach of Michigan, he's gone into the final game of the season against the Buckeyes with a chance for the Big Ten championship. What a record, what a coach. And they say he's going to walk away from all this to handle his pressing duties as athletic director of Michigan. Well, only time will tell. Right now, Fritz Chrysler is only thinking about one thing, and that is to defeat Southern California here today in this 1948 Rose Bowl. 
After the second half kickoff, Dan Dworsky recovered a Southern Cal fumble on the Trojan 18 where we rejoin Bob. Michigan first and 10 of the Trojan 18-yard line. The Wolverines are out of the huddle. Unbalanced line to the right. Chap deep. Weisenberger close. The ball snap back to Weisenberger. He reverses Chapius. Chapius starts around the right end. Stops. Turns. Spots quarterback Yergis over in the left flat. Throws a transcontinental pass. Yergis takes it in stride at the Trojan 10. He's all alone at the 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Touchdown, Michigan. The Wolverines lead 27 to nothing. Early in the fourth quarter, Bob Chappius twisted his way 38 yards deep into Trojan territory to set up Jack Weisenberger's third touchdown of the afternoon. After an exchange of punts, we're back to live action. Michigan leading 35 to nothing, first and 10 at the Trojan 45. The Wolverine line is unbalanced to the right. Backfield shifts T into single wing, chap deep. Weisenberger close, Fondy on the wing. Weisenberger takes a snap from center, hands off to Fondy, coming back to the left side. Fondy's hit immediately by the defensive right hand of Southern Cal, but he's breaking the tackle, still on his feet. Fondy takes two more steps, turns and spots Derricott all alone along this sideline. Fondy throws a long transcontinental. Derricott going hell-bent for election down this western sideline. He doesn't even break stride as he's taking the pass on the Trojan 20. He's at the 50. Derricott is outrunning the Trojan safety man. He's at the 4 3 2 1. Touchdown, Michigan, and the Wolverines lead 41 to nothing. Fritz Chrysler retire? Never, not with this football machine going for him. Why, it was only two weeks ago that Southern California lost their only game of the season to undefeated and untied Notre Dame 38 to 7. And the Irish statement was out of South Bend if you're better than we are, Michigan, then try to beat Trojans by more than 31 points. Well, right now, football fans, the Wolverines are doing just that. And there's Jim Brisky's extra point. Six out of six. Michigan 42, Southern California zip. And at this moment, football fans, Michigan looks like they invented the game of football. Three plays after the kickoff, the Trojans punted. And with Pete Elliott quarterbacking, the Wolverines took five plays to move the ball to the Southern Cal 28-yard line. But here's Bob with a play-by-play. Michigan out of the huddle, first and ten at the Trojan 28-yard line. T formation, Michigan shifting into single wing. Derricott deep, Peterson close, Fondy on the wing with Yergish back at quarterback. The ball snapped to Peterson, he fakes to Derricott going to the right. He fakes to Fondy going to the left. Peterson completes the spins going up the middle. He hands off to Yergish just short of the line of scrimmage. Yergish is now dropping back to the Southern Cal 37-yard line. Yergish cocks his arm, looks for a receiver, and he's throwing a long bomb down to Dick Reifenberg, who's at the Trojan five. He catches the pass at the three, two, one. Michigan scores for the seventh time this afternoon, Southern California here we come to win. From five minutes ago, the Southern California end zone after Michigan's sixth touchdown. Michigan is right back 66 yards in six plays with touchdown number seven. Michigan 48, Southern California nothing. And this already is, as a late and great fielding H host would say, a great big Michigan football afternoon. Jim Brisky set a Rose Bowl record with his seventh consecutive extra point. And the 1948 Rose Bowl game went into the record books. Michigan 49, Southern California nothing. Here's Bob for a final recap. There's no doubt about it. It's the number one team in the country, the Michigan Wolverines of 1947, who even made believers out of Notre Dame football fans this afternoon as the Wolverines set six all-time Rose Bowl records and played as fine a game of football as has ever been seen in a collegiate football stadium. This has got to be one of the most classic examples of man's inhumanity to man since the Romans threw Christians to the Lions. The final score again this afternoon, the Rose Bowl game of January 1st, 1948, colored with maize and blue, Michigan 49, Southern California, zip. <laughs>